Welcome back guys to Learn Python the hard way. Today we're going to focus on exercise 6, strings and text. Uh, you can follow along by following the link to this URL, which is also included in the description below. And now today in chapter 6 we're going to focus on strings and texts. We've already used uh, strings before in, for example, exercise 5 and some of the previous exercises. Um, if you want to take a look at that, that's available in the previous videos. Now, while we've been using strings, we haven't really understood yet what they do and what they actually are. And this is the focus of this exercise. So today we're going to get more familiar with using strings and also how we can format strings to, for example, include variables within the scope of those strings. And so in Python, generally, we can create a string by either putting double quotes around some text or by using single quotes, quotes around the text. And we've seen that before that we can use the print statement followed by parentheses and within those parentheses we can enter either a single quote followed by some text, another single quote, or by using double quotes followed by some text and then closing it with another double quote. We can also use some variables in the scope of the string so for example we can create a separate variable called for example types of people and set it to a value of 10 for example and then we can use those curly braces around the name of the variable to actually insert that variable into a string and to do that we would use an f string a format string so we type an f followed by double quotes or single quotes and then within those quotes we can enter the text itself and then of course also the variable. And what this will do is that it will replace the variable within those curly braces with the actual variable name that we have assigned. And there's also another kind of formatting using the format syntax here, um, which we can also see in the source code file here. So let's get started by typing out the exercise for today. And to get started, we again can open a terminal and navigate to the folder where we're creating our text files. So in this case here, lpthw. And to create a new code file, we can just simply type the name of the text editor that we're going to use. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna type in code, space, and then the name of the exercise which should be ending in py for Python. Now, once we press enter, a new file will be opened here and we can just start entering the Python code. So let's get started by defining a variable called types of people and setting it to 10, so that's an integer. And then we continue by defining a new variable x and be using the f string to actually <clears throat> replace, or actually insert the value of the variable within that particular string. So we can type this in here and then in curly braces, we type in the name of the variable. And what this is going to do, of course, is that once we execute the file, that those variables will be inserted into those strings. Let's add a new variable binary as well as do not. Can add this in here. And then we can define a new variable y and use another f string to insert those variables in here. And of course, we can use as many variables as we'd like. Let's print that out so we can print out x and y, which again are those strings that we defined previously. And again, once we define those new variables, um, we can of course also add this as part of an f string. And we can also insert it within single quotes here.
Now we create a new variable hilarious and set it to false, so it's a boolean value. And such a boolean value, of course, um, can also be inserted here, even though at this point here we're actually having um, an empty an empty value here at the moment. But here we see the alternative option that we have. Instead of using an f string, we can use the format um, syntax. So here in line 17, we're going to print out joke evaluation, which is this um, variable here that holds our string. And we're going to format it to insert our value hilarious. Now this variable hilarious, which evaluates to false, can then be passed to this particular string here and um, will then be inserted here where we have the curly braces. Finally, we can create a new variable w as well as e. And then we can print out w plus e. All right, let's save this file and let's head over to our terminal. And now we can simply type in Python the name of uh, the Python version, so we're using Python 3.6, followed by the name of the file that we want to execute. Now once we press enter, that code file, uh, everything that we entered is executed, and now we can compare it to the actual output that we expect. So it says there are 10 types of people, those who are now binary and those who don't. Uh, and if we take a look again at our text file, we can see that in this case, for example, we are basically replacing um, the variables we created and um, we insert that basically into the strings that we're using here. So that's basically the exercise for today. And now we can continue with the study drills. So the first exercise here is to go through the program and write a comment about um, above each of the line explaining it. So we can start here at the top. First thing we do is we uh, define a variable and assign it a value of 10. Then what we do is we insert the variable into a new string which we assign to the variable x. Next, we're going to define a variable with a string binary. And we define a variable with a string don't. Now we embed um, those two string variables into a new string using a format and then we assign it to y, to new variable. Next we print the value of string string x or variable x which happens to be a string and also of course the value for variable y after that we print string with um, the value for variable x and y using f string. So that we assign a boolean value to a variable and then we define a new 
string variable with the placeholder using those curly places and then we print print out the value of the joke evaluation variable um, using format and passing the hilarious variable into it. So that's going to be evaluated. And finally, we assign a new variable w and e and assign a string to each. And the very last step is that we print out a new string by concatenating the variables w and e, which both contain a string. All right, so that's the first part of it. Then find all places where a string is put inside a string. So that's basically all the places where we're using those curly braces. So here we have the first one where we insert the variable types of people into this variable x. The second spot is here where we're using binary and do not, those two variables that again we assign to a new variable y um, and we insert that using again an f string. So we have one, two, three variables so far. Um, here we then use a print statement where we insert x, which we defined before, and up to y, which is another one of those um, strings that we created or variables that we created. So these would be one, two, three, four, five different uh, locations. Um, and then uh, another additional point where we are using that syntax is here. We're using the format method that we're calling um, on joke evaluation. And um, what we do here is we actually have one additional step. So we are using, isn't this joke so funny? And we are adding that placeholder in here. We're not inserting a variable right away, but we're doing that a little bit later. We're doing that when we are calling the format uh, method here on joke evaluation and we pass in hilarious, which is a, var a variable here. So that means in total we have one, two, three, four, five, six different places basically where we insert a variable. So and it's it's more than <clears throat> it's more than four places. It's actually the six places. So we have here one, two, three, four strings here where we are using that um, f string syntax. But then then we have an additional uh, string where we're actually using those placeholders here, and we're using the format um, method here to actually accomplish that. Now finally, um, explain why adding the two strings w and e with a plus sign makes a longer string. So what happens here is that we have the variable w and e, both, both of which are actually holding a string. And then we're printing out and we're concatenating, we're adding w and e together. Since both are strings, we can just add them together and they basically become a single string. So we take the beginning here, of w, the entire string, and then we add the second string to it and so it turns into one additional string and again we can see that if we take a look at the terminal we can see now it's actually a single string that includes all of the information so that's basically how we uh, add strings together using the print method in combination with the plus sign and the different variables all right and that's this for exercise six and i'm going to see you in the next video